Richard Willis. I'm a trustee at uh, Willen Hospice. I'm also chairman of their uh, trading company. Uh, I became a trustee because um, uh, in my professional life, my firm has uh, had a long association with uh, Will and Hospice, and my former senior partner was a uh, trustee for many years. When he retired, he asked me if I'd like to take over, and I, I applied. I went through all the usual interview process, met all the trustees, decided I wanted to do it, and um, uh, that's where it came, well, that's really why I got involved. I'd been well aware of Will and for many years. Um, in terms of um, being a trustee, um, what do I like about it? Um, what I really like about it is um, a real sense of uh, commitment and involvement uh, in an organisation which I think is um, so central to Milton Keynes and to the people in Milton Keynes. Um, I, I had an interest anyway, as I've said, because of the, my background, also my mother died uh, in a hospice type environment, so I, I kind of had an interest there as well. Um, but working with the um, with other people at the hospice in, a, in a, an amazingly inspiring environment, it's it's good for me. I feel I can put a lot into it, um, in terms of my own skills as a lawyer, but I get a heck of a lot out of it as well, in terms of um, involvement and working with talented people and very enthusiastic people um, in that sort of in environment. It is challenging. Uh, we have to raise um, three million pounds a year. Uh, it's four million pounds a year to run the hospice. We have to raise three million of it. And that is done through uh, the community. Um, fantastic support from Milton Keynes community. But it is always a big challenge. We had a few problems a couple of years ago uh, during the recession, as every charity did. We got through that through hard work and, and commitment, um, but there's always that real pressure to uh, raise funds for an organisation that, um, that frankly Milton Keynes couldn't do without. There's lots of work, lots of meetings, lots of papers, uh, and you've got your own job to do on top of that. So um, I wouldn't pretend that it was easy, but it, it's really very rewarding and it complements my life, um, my professional life, and uh, it's something I really enjoy doing. Would I recommend someone to become a trustee? Yes, I would. Um, it's really valuable. It, it's great that you feel you're putting something into the community, um, uh, but it's not a one-way process. That you get a lot of self-fulfillment back from doing it as well. I would say um, join something that you value, that you think is important. Have a look carefully at the charity, uh, and um, look, look, look at its values, look at what it does, look at the structure, make sure it's well organised, uh, look at the people you're going to be involved in. They'll, they'll want to meet you, but you need to meet them as well. Um, and it needs to work for both of you. Um, and also I'd say, if you're going to become a trustee, just think about um, what it is to be a trustee. Uh, what are your responsibilities? Read, the, have a look at the Charity Commission website because it's got some great um, literature on that and it will uh, it will just give you a bit more background on, uh, on what it is to be a trustee, what your responsibilities are. Sometimes people worry about those responsibilities but what I'd say is um, as long as you act uh, properly, fairly, reasonably and honestly uh, then you're going to be okay. You get a lot of protection from the courts and from the Charity Commission. Um, and for you know, for honest, hardworking people, there, there aren't issues. Become involved. I think it's uh, it's really important.